Have you heard this new Lizzo album? This is my favorite from the album. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I'm filming this the night before my competition. I'm doing just this local comp tomorrow um, with two girls from my new gym. And it's a breast cancer awareness fundraising comp, which I'm really excited about. But I figured it would be a great opportunity to show you how I eat, like a full day of eating on a competition day. But also I wanna show you what I'm packing because what I'm packing isn't necessarily going to be what I'm eating because it kind of just depends on the moment on how I'm feeling. I've been around on my channel for a while. You know, I also competed in weightlifting and I did a few like competition vlog, like eating videos. Most recently my Waterpalooza series, which wasn't like full day of eating, but it definitely showcased a lot of how I personally eat during competitions. So anyways, I have some stuff pre laid out for tomorrow so i have a gallon of water because the number one thing i think that people just underestimate is how dehydrated competitions make you so i have that and then these little noom sport tabs i had one of these pretty much every day in water Palooza and i really liked them i'm actually not gonna bring a ton of things i'm bringing two different flavors peanut butter and chocolate chip of bobo's and then the Homestyle Rice Krispies. These are literally superior. And a smaller, lighter Trader Joe's chewy chocolate coated granola bar. And Advil. <laughs> then in my fridge, I already have some things meal prep, so I wanna show you. This is basically just protein and carbs. Chicken and rice, that's it. No vegetables on competition day. Then in the morning, I'll go over my schedule with you here in just a moment. Ah but this is a peanut butter banana overnight oat so it's basically oatmeal a little bit of greek yogurt that's banana flavored some peanut butter banana slices a little bit of driven i actually put vegan whey in this because i feel like it goes much better with the oatmeal if you haven't checked out their vegan protein honestly it's really good if you absolutely need to be dairy free but their regular whey and isolate is also 99 percent lactose free then i'm going to bring some mango slices and look at these peaches my friend got me from like a legit farm in Georgia. I just, they look so good. So I kind of, I'm just gonna stick to basics, nothing crazy. I'll also probably bring a banana and then I'm deciding whether or not I wanna bring this because I don't know how I would do drinking this in between uh, heats. Which I think is another thing to consider when you're doing a CrossFit competition or any like one day comp or something that you just like need extra fuel for it's very important in my opinion anyway to not change the way that you're eating so a lot of times what i see during cross the competitions especially or weightlifting meets is people will eat a lot of like candy and high sugary things and like donuts cookies whatever because they're thinking like oh you know calories 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 sugar and like i get the point and for some people that might work really well however if you don't normally eat like that and you eat fairly like diverse <laughs> and well and then all of a sudden you go into competition day and you're eating like complete candy garbage you're gonna feel like complete candy garbage, okay? So keep that in mind. I always recommend for clients to not change the way that they're eating on competition day just because it's competition day. So instead, what I like to do is like beef up my regular meals. And although I don't typically do overnight oats, I like it for that period of time, like the 6 a.m. hour, because I just don't really want something super heavy on my stomach, but I want enough like fuel to hold me through the first workout. That being said, I'm gonna leave here tomorrow, I think at like 6.30 or 6.45, and our first heat is not until nine. So the first meal that I'll have will be the oatmeal, and then we're just gonna kind of play it by ear with everything that I'm bringing, and I'll show you guys how it's gonna go, how much time is in between heats. For me personally, because I've done this so many times, I don't feel the need to like strategically plan it out. However, I did log my 
oatmeal. And so I want to show you right here up on the screen what the macros are for this oatmeal. I think this is just a great pre-competition breakfast, especially if you have a sensitive stomach and it also will keep you full. Okay, for real though, I've been listening to this Lizzo album since yesterday on repeat, bitch. It's so good and this is unrelated, but yesterday I took like a fun Peloton ride and it was a 30 minute Lizzo class. And then she surprised them in the New York City studio. Oh, it was so good. Let me just tell you, it was literally probably the funnest class I've ever taken on Peloton. So anyways, it is 6.20 on the dot. I have to leave in about 15 minutes. So I am diving into my protein, oat, my protein oatmeal. You know, I kind of wanted a breakfast sandwich. I didn't have enough time. Wow, I put a ton of honey in that. That's very sweet. Oop. First meal of the day, plus coffee. And I'm ready to tackle this cough. I just want everyone to appreciate the. Is this a video? Yes. The such cuteness of the hair. Yes, the top angle. Yes. And what are you eating? A bobo. Okay, I'm still not eating. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. And you are eating? Great snacks. Okay, maybe you're making me feel like I should take a bite of something. Do you want to take a bite? Yeah, maybe I'll take a little tiny piece. I don't want to puke though, because we're like 20 minutes away. So, so far, just that and banana. First workout completed. We actually did so well on that one. And I drank a cup of the electrolytes and uh, driven EAAs and mango peach flavor. Our next workout is the heavy clean. One max clean at 1040 and it's 956. So I'm gonna try to eat this whole Bobo's bar, which the whole thing is like 14 grams of fat, 60 some carbs and six proteins. So that's really what I need right now is carbs. Um, it's too soon in between to have a protein shake or a meal, which I figured because these are pretty back-to-back -back workouts. When I was doing Wadapalooza, there was like hours in between workouts, which allows you to have more of a meal or protein shake or whatever. So I'm going to try to eat all this. We'll check in after the next one. So um, the comp is running early. So in between workout two and three we only had like 35 minutes so initially i went to the little smoothie shop and i got this like protein smoothie which is like peanut butter strawberries um protein powder almond milk and i started drinking it and then they were like oh we're 12 minutes early so we were supposed to go on at 11 50 and we went on at 11 27 i'm like all right 10 minutes um so i'm just gonna kind of milk this and put it in the cooler because our next workout is like again in 30 minutes so I don't really want too much on my stomach. Um, this one is deadlifts, front rack lunges, and shoulder to overhead with 35 pound uh, dumbbells. So <laughs> I don't want too much on my stomach. I took a couple sips of this. I'm gonna grab a handful of those gummies from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna go foam roll and stretch out my hips for this last one. 12.30, back to the shake. What are you having? Are we eating? What are we doing here? Oh, fuck yeah. Gold mix. Mega bites for a mega Girl, I you tried. <laughs> a for effort. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. They brought crumble cookies. Look at that. Look at the size of these. Look, you can't yes, ever do a CrossFit comp without oh, cookies. Oh. Cheers. Oh. I'll go that one. I think there's supposed to be filling in it, but I, I don't actually know I watched a video from Danny Spiegel and they like fuck it up and it's like only in one half of the cookie. Oh, so oh. Try a bite from yeah. the other side. Can I try? Mm. Yeah, dig it. Mm. You get it? Oh, this one too. <laughs> Let me make sure it's in the fridge. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Okay. Oh, <laughs> she almost, you had she almost bit my finger off. <laughs> that's fire. Pass it around. <laughs> wow. Oh, I am back home. It is four o'clock. I haven't eaten since that uh, bite, those bites of the cookie earlier. And I did not eat my food because as you guys saw, it was way too close to be eating a meal. So take some, well, I'm just going to take the 
one that I have, the chicken and brown rice. But then I'm going to add some broccoli and cauliflower, nothing fancy. Just wanna get a little bit of veggies in today. I feel like super full still kind of, just, but I know that's like just the amount of carbs, which when I go sit down at the table, we're gonna go through my macros. So I added um, 45 grams of avocado to this just because I know it's gonna go bad in my fridge. And this is four ounces of chicken thighs and about 75 grams of broccoli. Now it's important to note that I did not like accurately track the Scandinavian swimmers or like the cookie. I just roughly estimated it because I just was doing this for educational purposes to show you guys how I eat during competition, but I don't necessarily ever care. Like if I weren't filming this video, I wouldn't be like weighing my stuff out. I would just be eating. Hello, sweet girl. Right now, currently I'm at 105 grams of protein, 295 carbs, 24 grams of fiber, which is actually really good, but that's thanks to the oatmeal from this morning. Um, and 50 grams of fat. As you saw throughout the day, I was able to relatively eat normally, but still kind of kept carbs much higher than they normally are and fats about the same. So I'm still gonna have another snack later because it's only four, but I definitely felt like I needed a real meal because that's the one thing about one day competitions that I don't like is that I feel like you're just always snacking throughout the day instead of actually eating real food. I'm gonna eat this and then we'll see what I decide to have for dinner. I mean, not for dinner, for my snack. Look at the size of these peaches. I'm so excited about this. I haven't had like a good ass peach in a hot minute. And you know, I got that new air fryer. So I think I'm gonna do some like air fried peaches and then put Cool Whip and honey and protein granola in it. because. That sounds freaking great. So, great. so I'm gonna just take these little slices, I'm gonna spray them really quick with butter spray and pop them in the air fryer at 350 for like five minutes. Then we're gonna mix up some brown sugar, um, cinnamon, and a little bit of real butter. And we're gonna just, we're gonna make delicious. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at it. I'm not entirely sure how big this peach was. I probably should have weighed it and I forgot because I was so excited. <laughs> I'll weigh the other one that I have in my fridge because it's like roughly the same size. And we're gonna log it. Full calories for the day, or macro breakdown first. 115 grams of protein, which is kind of impressive considering I only ate one like real source of protein. <laughs> um, 338 carbs, 29 fiber, 55 fat. Um, honestly, that's a great ass day. And if I'm still hungry, I may eat more later. But honestly, this is very filling and this is probably gonna be my new obsession. I love how I find these snacks and then I just eat them repeatedly until I get absolutely sick of them. But I will say I'm really tired. So I don't think I'm gonna have time for another meal. I'm probably gonna go to bed. So anyways, that's it for this competition day, full day of eating. Let me know if it was helpful for you. Let me know if you're gonna sign up for your first competition, CrossFit, weightlifting, whatever, in the comments below. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, clicking the thumbs up, hitting the subscribe. It helps me out a ton and helps me create more content for you. So that is it. I'm done for the day and I will see you in my next video.